friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met! My name is Josefa and I'm so glad to see all of you. Please make sure to join us each week on Thursday at noon for a different story time and art activity. Now, let's find a cozy spot and let's get started. We are going to start with our welcome song, just like what we do at the museum. For those of you that don't know, it goes to the tune of This Old Man. Can you all count to three with me? You can also clap like this and sing along if you'd like. On the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Round of applause, my friends. You did a great job singing. So for our book today it is called, I Will Never not ever eat a tomato. Written and illustrated by Lauren Child. Do you like to eat tomatoes? Let's find out. <laughs> I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad asked me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she is a very fussy eater. Are you a picky eater too? Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small. What color are the peas? Can you see? And too green. One day, I played a good trick on her. Lola was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner. And she said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms, or spaghetti, or eggs, or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower, or cabbage, or baked beans, or bananas, or oranges, and I'm not fond of apples, or rice, or cheese, or fish sticks. And I absolutely will not, never, not ever eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. That's, goodness, that's a lot of food she doesn't like to eat. And I said, that is lucky because we are not having any of those things. We are going to eat, we are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower, or cabbage, or baked beans, or bananas, or oranges. We don't have any apples, or rice, or cheese, or fish sticks, and certainly no tomatoes. Lola looked at the table. Then why are there carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. <gasps> what color are the carrots? They are orange. And I said, oh, you think those are carrots. These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They just look like carrots to me, said Lola. But how can they be carrots, I said. Carrots don't, don't grow on Jupiter. That is true, said Lola. Well, I might just try one. If they're all the way from Jupiter. Mmm, 
Not bad, she said, and took another bite. Nom 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 nom. Check out. Looks like they're in space. Then Lola saw some peas. Oh no. I don't eat peas, said Lola. I said, these are not peas. Of course they are not. These are green drops from Greenland. They are made out of green and fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, Lola said. Do you all eat green things? <laughs> oh, goody, I said. I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, said Lola, quite tasty. Hmm. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try. Not even mashed. Look how big this potato is. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that. No, this is a cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh, said Lola. Hmm, in that case, a large helping for me. I'd love to eat cloud. Does mashed potatoes kind of look like fluffy clouds to you? <laughs> Charlie, she said, those look like fish sticks to me. And I would never eat a fish stick. Hmm. What do you think Charlie's gonna say? I know that. These are not fish sticks. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to that supermarket one time with mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, Lola said, gobbling. Are there any more? Mm. And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what? One of those? What do you think it's gonna be? And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. What is she pointing at? And I couldn't believe my eyes because guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. And I said, are you sure? Really? One of those? And she said, yes, of course. Moon squatters are my favorite. That's a really fun name. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? Hmm, let's see. Carrots are now orange twiglets. Tomatoes are now moon squatters. Mashed potato is now cloud fluff. Green peas are now green drops and fish sticks are now ocean nibble, nibbles. <laughs> the end. Round of applause, my friends. Thank you so much for listening. You did a great job. We are gonna take a look at this oil painting from the Met Collection. Take a closer look and what things can you see? I see lots of different food and different kinds of vegetables that Charlie and Lola talked about. Can you find moon squirters? Or tomatoes? Hmm, I see some cabbage. What other different kinds of vegetables and food can you find in this painting? <laughs> Take one closer look and see if you can name all the different kinds of foods that you see in the painting. All right, my friends, well, before we say goodbye, we do have a fun activity that you can do at home. Next time you are baking or cooking, 
with your family at home, you can take a look at the fridge and try to rename all the different foods that you see. Can you think of as many different fun, creative names and rename all the different foods that you see in your fridge, just like Charlie did? Try to be as creative as possible. You can even make a list and make a really fun recipe or ingredient list for your family. <laughs> all right, my friends, well, thank you so much for joining us uh, today. We hope to see you again next week for a different story and activity. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs>